Will me and Brian stay together? Honey, I am not a psychic reader. I am just a counselor, relationship coach, femininity, masculinity coach, helping people in the dating and relationship. A lot of it, it really depends on you. If you really love the person and you're putting the work, because some people tell me, well, every relationship is different. Everybody's different. Yes, we're different, but we also have to have rules and foundation for the relationship. And if again, a person, a guy and a girl met together at the bar or in the park or in the restaurant, and then the same day they jump in bed, the chances of that relationship having a really strong foundation is 0.1 because people didn't get together. They're just playing risk. Just because our genitals feel good together, our relationship later can work. We cannot build relationship based on our genitals. We really have to get to know each other first. Ask the right questions. So I'm not sure how long have you been with your boyfriend or your girlfriend? Six months or a year? What are you dealing with to tell you whether your relationship will last? So I definitely, <laughs> you got my <laughs> joke. So you got to tell me more in order for me to help your friends. <clears throat> I'm 24, work full time, didn't go out, no friends. What should I do? PM. I'm very into your feminine video. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching. If you work full time and don't, you don't go out with, with friends, what you should do? First of all, if you're a woman, and I believe you are, first thing what you should do is start thinking about how you can start cutting the hours. It took me again five years to shift from working full time to working only four hours a week. So you won't be able to do it overnight, but you gotta start figuring out if you work 40 hours, figure out how to, you can start working 35 hours. If you work 35 hours, start thinking how you can cut down five hours gradually. And the best way you can do it is by again, watching my videos and learning how you can either meditate or doing the affirmations. And even if you're gonna do five minute affirmations in the morning, or five minute affirmations at night or meditating, best case scenario to do it 10 minutes, in the morning five minutes and in the evening, you're gonna start seeing how doors are starting to open up and not you are just figuring out how you can cut down the hours. You're gonna start feeling the universe, higher power himself, start to help you. Maybe your bonus gonna start getting bigger. Your salary gonna start getting big, bigger. Maybe you're getting promoted. Maybe you'll find another job. And eventually your goal is not to work more than 20 hours a week. Because of course, if you work full time, how will you have time when you come home exhausted, stressed, overwhelmed to find time to either date or either go out with friends or have a relationship with a partner, healthy relationship or really taking care of yourself. And so for us women, it is so critical not to work more than four to six hours a week. This is, has to be a goal for every woman. You wanna work? Absolutely. I am doing it right now, even though I'm not charging, it's my contribution, but I am being contribution to you, my friends. And so we have to have our purpose and help the community and society, but we cannot pay the price. And how we are paying a price as a woman, if we work 40, or more hours a week. We're not designed 40 hours a week. Yes, some elite global leaders decided in order to make more money out of us. And so we are deteriorating and our families are deteriorating. So in order to have friends first, you gotta start cutting down the hours. And friendship takes time. You gotta put the time and energy meeting the right people and then connecting to them. Girlfriends, for example, every day I check on two of my girlfriends. Then I have extended girlfriends, which I'm really checking on them once or twice a week because friendship takes time. You gotta nurture friendships and you gotta go out with your girlfriends. And girlfriends really have each other's back in a gentle, kind, way supporting each other in a feminine energy and so friendship for women is very critical but in order again to have friends you gotta have time time for yourself so with that said in which culture are most masculine men honestly looking right now because i've traveled quite a bit i've studied in many countries 
what comes in mind immediately, it's either Africa or Middle East. That's where you get the most masculine men. Um, because in Africa, for example, in Kenya, in Tanzania, men have to take care of cows or they have to go to work to provide for a family. So I've seen a lot of masculine men in Africa and I've seen a lot of masculine men in Middle East. But again, you have to travel. Also in Russia, but in Russia, I would say now percentage of masculine men also shrinks. But again, overall in Eastern Europe, in Middle East, in Africa, I see more masculine men compared to the West and United States. I struggle to get someone who can love me back. Friends, you will struggle to have someone love you back until you love yourself. Once you love yourself, you're going to be attracting someone who treats you the same way you feel towards yourself. If your inner conversation is nobody loves me, it's because you don't truly love yourself. And when I mean loving yourself, you got to discover who you are, what makes you happy, what kind of flowers you like, what kind of food you like, which countries you like to travel. Uh, which theater you like to go, which movies you like. All of this you have to discover. And the best way to find out and love yourself is, again, through spiritual connection. When you meditate, you start to fall in love with yourself because you become kinder, you become empathic, you become compassionate, you become gentle and loyal. And as you start falling in love with yourself because you get the approval and love of higher power, you start attracting different people. And as you're attracting different people because you gravitate, you have this love coming out of you, you start to see that men start to appreciate you. Men start looking at you from a completely different lens and they start to love you. They start to spoil you. They buy you flowers. They take you to a restaurant. They open the door to you because the way you carry yourself is you have the confidence, self-worth, self and you love yourself and not in a cocky way you're just gentle and humble compassionate and empathic and this kindness comes out of you the love is gravitating out of you and so again find start loving yourself first do the steps do the work start early morning meditating before you go to work or do the affirmations i have plenty of spiritual videos on my youtube channel where you can learn how to meditate or how to do affirmations what is the relationship between a mind and a soul i would not right now go into the depths giving the relationship but i'll tell you the difference the mind is our logic. It's constantly giving you thoughts, the thinking. And by the way, a lot of men are very rational and very logical. This is mind. Women, we, when we're feminine, we're connecting to our soul. This is our spiritual work, connecting to others and connecting to higher power. And so a lot of men are very disconnecting from the soul because they're very, very logical. And so a lot of times people are collapsing mind and soul they're thinking it's the the same thing but it's really not and so in order to for a man for example and a lot of times now it's even for women because women are working so much they're very much connected to their masculine energy but they're connecting disconnected from feminine energy and feminine energy comes from soul it's not comes from mind and so for us to connect to our soul we gotta really do the spiritual practices without meditation sometimes we're even disconnected from our consciousness what is right and what is wrong because if a person is doing affirmations or meditation or prayer they're not going to scream at wife they're not going to blame a husband they're not going to be drinking because they understand that that hurts a family unit people start to connect to their consciousness but that con consciousness is connected through soul and that's why in all spiritual practices it says soul or to some it couldn't be spirit is number one then mind and then body but in our world right now everything is backwards people are carrying i gotta be skinny i gotta be sexy i gotta have bicep triceps i gotta have six pack but they forget about that we have a soul and we have also consciousness and so we're all disconnected and all have to be in harmony but the first comes actually the soul when you start again spiritual practices you connect to your soul your mind starts to get clear and you stop having the fear and shame and guilt constantly 
and then you can start taking care of also your body, but not backwards. Gym and going to the gym is not a priority. Meditating, doing the affirmations or a prayer, that is the priority. So I hope that kind of shifts your mindset and understanding. I want a feminine coach and is there any way I can sign up for your class? I don't teach how for you to become a feminine coach. But if you join my feminine group, you will definitely going to start connecting to your femininity and your spirituality. And as you're going to start practicing spiritual practices on a daily basis, you're going to start feeling that the layers of masculinity feel kind of peels off. You're going to start connecting to your femininity. And once you become feminine, once you really understand the spirituality and you feel it, you connect to the higher power, you have a strong relationship to a higher power, you will be able to coach others. Why do you think most men are currently afraid of a marriage? Very good question. You see, a man, when he is financially set, when he already conquered himself and he is a masculine man, he is not going to be afraid of commitment and marriage. Who is afraid of commitment is a feminine man. And unfortunately, men are going to argue with me. They're not going to like to hear that because a lot of YouTube uh, bloggers are sharing now. Women are going to put you through divorce. They're going to take everything from you. They're going to take away children, homes, your money. And men are afraid. Oh, yes, they're going to take away and they're fighting women. Of course, equality did the damage, and men hate equality, and we have to acknowledge that, that if you are successful, independent, goal-oriented, career-oriented woman, men not going to feel that they want to naturally protect you and provide for you. And they're battling women because they don't feel there's women who are feminine and can appreciate them. And so they're very intimidated. They're living in a state of fear. And all of the society shows them there's a reason to be afraid because a lot of women are going through divorce because men and women cannot get along because if a woman is career oriented, she's not going to nurture. She's not going to bring happiness, harmony, peace and love to the relationship. And men are very intimidated when they're meeting a woman and they see that to her, number one is a priority to go to work and make money. He's afraid. Why should he get uh, married to this woman and take responsibility for her? Because to her, career is number one. But at the same time, if a man meets a feminine woman and he doesn't want to get married, or if he has kids with her and he still doesn't want to get married, he is 100% a feminine man who is, again, brainwashed and programmed by the society, media, education, Hollywood, that... The marriage going to collapse and it's not going to work. And so again, taking a chance and getting married to a feminine man, he will not provide and protect. And a masculine man will marry only a feminine woman. So ladies, you have to make a decision here. If it's a priority to you to get married and have a healthy and happy family, you got to learn how to become feminine, how to turn to spirituality in order to keep the harmony and balance in your relationship. And then a man marry you. But if you're dating a feminine man, he will be afraid. He will be afraid to take responsibility over you because he doesn't know how to take responsibility over himself. And so here you have to understand a feminine and masculine dynamic. I struggle to get a lady who loves me the same as I do. Um, in relationships, typically, ideally, is to meet someone that a man loves a woman a little bit more. But then over time, a woman could love a little bit more than a man loves her. And so love doesn't happen in the same way. For example, you've met a woman, you're like, oh, wow, you're in love 100%. You know, after three months, the feeling starts to come down. And so love goes in waves between a man and a woman. Sometimes a woman loves a man more. Sometimes a man loves a woman more. It goes in waves. And also loves have different stages. In the beginning, you don't even love a person. You are lost. You're enjoying their body. It's because most of the time people date and they start to have intimacy. They enjoy their beauty and body. But the real love most of the time kicks in after 
four, five, six years. When a people pass the fourth stage, which is the stage of disgust, when they really hated each other, they really disliked each other. And if they overcame that stage, then the real love kicks in. And 99% of the people either divorce or break up in the stage discussed. If you're interested to learn more stages of a relationship, you should watch my video called Six Stages How to Create a Healthy and Happy Relationship, um, Lasting Healthy and Happy Relationship. It's on my YouTube. Highly recommend and you'll learn so much about it. Do you have any tips for artistic women? I'm mostly feminine, but I do have a few masculine traits what comes in mind immediately is that when you again start doing on a daily basis um, spiritual practices either meditating or praying or doing affirmations you will get the answers from your soul meaning from your higher power your connection and you gonna start feeling that those masculine traits starts to peel off and it doesn't happen immediately. It's a gradual change. It might happen after a few months, realistically, sometimes longer, sometimes less, but definitely not sooner than three months. Usually when you get to meditation of 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the evening, the process is going to start kicking in much faster. So you can overcome pretty much anything by really connecting to the source. How to have a social life while being a mom? Hmm, good question. It's hard to have a social life, even if you're single or married, uh, because kids take a lot of time. And so we gotta have, and by the way, are you single or not? If you're single, that becomes very difficult. But if you're married, you gotta go with husband on the dates at least once a week. Otherwise, you feel like you're constantly parents. If you're a single mom also, you gotta figure out who could be your babysitters. Maybe grandparents can help you. And you gotta find at least two, three hours a week where you connect with girlfriends. You gotta socialize. But for that, you need to figure out who can help you. Either, again, if you're married or not, three hours minimum a week, you gotta go with girlfriends or with couples and socialize or have a date night with your husband because without it again you're gonna feel like you drain you're just being a mom but for us women when we're at home it's a work when we're at work we're socializing and so it's very very important for us to socialize and that's why when men say oh she's at home she's not doing anything men are relaxing at home but woman is working she has to cook clean do laundry organize and she gets very overwhelmed and exhausted but when man comes from work he's on the sofa getting a beer turns on tv and he's relaxing and woman continue thinking oh i need to cook i need to do this i gotta do homework with kids i gotta take kids to tennis gymnastics etc so woman never really relaxes at home so please think about it you really need time outside of the house good question